what you're doing is adding more power to the hip throw by sweeping the legs. This is a good way to learn it from you know, Koshiguruma right into Harai Goshi. Okay. Let me point out a few things before we go into uh, Harai Goshi here, still with Koshiguruma. And again, learning Koshiguruma first is a great lead in to Harai Goshi, and we do that a lot teaching the newer guys and gals how to do uh, this throw. But let's, let's talk about the turning of the body a little before I teach you this. Now, don't make a big deal out of how you stand and also your feet, I mean, how you stand, yes, but when you're coming in and breaking the balance, I would really, really want to emphasize this. And don't step to him because he could foot sweep me and he's right, you know. So when you do this, just kind of get your foot out of the way. When you notice Derek doing this, we didn't say a lot about it because I wanted you to naturally turn and roll. And you're, everybody was doing that quite well, okay? So when you, when you break these bounces, popping them up, even if you're standing and walking them into it or directional, pop them up, and you're just basically getting your foot here and it's getting out of the way. So when you might hit my when you want to come in, then I turn and roll it. And when you see Derek come in and do this, come on here. And when he does this, he doesn't make a big deal about how he steps in. You want to make it a big deal, but don't don't overdo it, is what I'm saying. Okay, let me get out of the way here. So when he, he emphasizes this, this lifting and pulling action, the suricomi action, he pops him up, and notice how he stepped across the body. And that just opened everything up there, and now all he has to do is roll in, and he's in position to throw. Did everybody see that? And when he does that, he just rolls him over his hip, wheels him over his hip. That's what we call it, koshi garumi, you're wheeling him over the hip. Don't make him a too big of a deal. Some people try to jack a guy up and use that. You don't necessarily have to jack him up, just rotate him over your body and by pulling and lifting up, okay? So there you have that. If you do it that way, you're gonna lead right into a really, really good way of doing Harai Goshi here. So let's look at this. Go again. And again, as you get good at these, you know, they let you want to walk them into the Koshi Garuma with them moving, but right now we're doing basics. We're doing stationary, okay? So he breaks his balance, he does everything else. He comes in, but Derek is gonna make sure of this. He doesn't want to throw his hip in too far in front of Eric. So when he comes in and does his turn, that's, it's kind of like right shy, just, just slightly in front of him. Because what he's going to be doing now, he's going to be using, he's going to be pointing his toe, he's going to be sweeping across the leg. And you don't have to make a big, you know, big sweeping movement. It's, it's, you can come in and just make a, a short, choppy sweeping movement. But always remember, point your toe and just follow through with it. So you don't have to throw them If you throw them too much over your hip, you're coming too hard with your hip. If he comes in too far with his hip, he's, he, he, yeah, his, his leg kind of useless now. What we want to do is the action of a, the sweeping leg action. So why it's harai goshi, it's a sweeping. Harai means to sweep with the leg. Goshi means over the hip. Okay, that's the axis. So right around here is the axis and there's the sweep, okay? And it's the action, and you notice when he swept, he pointed his toe, and his head down, his foot up, okay? It doesn't have to be a big reaping motion. You don't have to make a good deal out of this. When you're coming in, you don't have to do this. Maybe that looks, that's, some guys might like to do that. What, what I want to do really is just get it here, and I'm going to sweep just in front there. It's a fast hurrah, it's a fast sweep. And the faster the sweep, the more momentum you'll have. What you're doing is adding more power to the hip throw by sweeping the legs. This is a good way to learn it from you know, Koshi Garuma right into Harai Goshi. Okay. Everybody got that? Can you see it one more time? Eric loves to take falls. <laughs> he does. He does. <laughs>